Well, thanks for coming out tonight. This is the debut for this year's Turner Jazz Crew. We have a lot of new members this year. We lost nine seniors last year. Where they went, I have no idea. But we'll find them eventually. But right now, we've been faced with some other great players. That tune was called in a mellow tone that is a Count Basie standard for years and years and years. And it featured on uh, bass, Matt Elton. On trumpet, Tim Keith. Now what changed things a lot, this is a, an old standard, been around forever, even longer than I've been around. We're going to feature David DeVaria, our lead alto player. And this is Stormy Weather.
next speech is a real departure from what we usually do. Uh, Mr. Graverson, who also teaches with me, does a couple of tunes, and he liked this one, and we like it a lot, too. Uh, again, at my age, I may need this someday. It's called a defibrillator. Alex used to be characterized on that.
I don't play a lot of Christmas music because I'm tired of it, but we got two tunes. The first one is more traditional than others. It's a ballad, and it's played the style of a piece called Little Darling, which is another basic favorite. Uh, this is an old tune around for an awfully long time. Some of the people are well. We're going to feature Mackenzie Dick a little bit on the piano. By the way, Mackenzie was homecoming queen this year, by the way. <laughs> Really cool, really cool, really cool. I see you see me here. Mackenzie also plays clarinet sometimes, she'll go back to and play clarinet too, which is a very fine piano player. This is not going to have any soloists at all, it's the band playing Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. We do have a solo, making her debut is Anna Bartlett tonight on a solo. So, so.
Both were taking a little bit of break before the lead turn player loses all these chops together, so about five or six minutes, seven minutes, something like that, we'll get back going again, okay? Just take a break. All right, folks, we're going to kick off our last couple of tunes. Uh, one of my favorite composers is Henry Mancini. You've heard forever. Peter Gunn is his big tune he's written. He's written dozens of scores for movies. He has over seven, he had over 17 Academy Awards. And uh, the funny thing was he started out as a flute player. And professionally and played in a big time symphony. He's also an excellent piano player, and as you people that are my age or older, there used to be a series called Peter Gunn. And Peter Gunn was revolved around a jazz club. And all the music for that jazz stuff was written by Henry Mancini. And this is kind of a forgotten piece, but it was in that series, and one of my favorites, we're going to feature Alex right here on tenor again, and this is called Dreamsville.
J.J. Scott on drums, folks. J.J. Scott on drums. Go for the piano for us. Very, very talented young man. Well, we're going to have a long tune to end. It's going to be our last one tonight. We're going to feature several soloists, and we'll get set up here on the stage in just a second. I want to thank uh, the library for having us here tonight for the program, and thank you all for coming out. We appreciate that. This program will be repeated on the 5th of uh, December. We'll be playing at the high school, 7 o'clock. Please try to attend. The band appreciates a big crowd. We're also going to Baker University on Friday for their jazz festival. This is, I think, I think, the 15th year we've been there every single year since its inception. And really happy to go down there. Mr. Parr does a fantastic job of running at Baker University. So this last piece, I think you'll probably know.